Hi, I'm Nashlin, and thank you for watching ilearntoanimate.com. Today we're going to do some modeling based on the previous video I've created. This is the Iron Man reference I've created, and um, you can get a rough shape to appear to, uh, using the reference images, right? And what we're going to do over here is called a low poly modeling. This is not the final stage, but just to have a glimpse of how you can actually get a shape out using low poly modeling. So let's get started. First thing we got to, let me just hide my model. And by looking at this, we will need to use our left view and our front view a lot. Okay, so if you find that the pixel is actually very low resolution, you can actually click on render and try on viewport too. It actually gets very clean resolution for your texture. So we're going to do the same for the uh, side view. It's going to look very clear like this. Okay, now using the previous method that I've done, this is a plane and you can see that it's plane. This is also a plane. I've put them into this layer. Okay, how do I create in this la layer? All you need to do is select this tool and click on this thing called create a new layer, assign selected object. Okay, right now you can't see because it's off the screen, but once you click on this, you will actually put them into a new layer. So to avoid having clicking this image plane, this plane, while you are modeling, what you can do is you can just click on the layer. Once you click on it, it says text, uh, texture. And one more click, you get an R. R means reference. And when that happens, right now I cannot cannot select on this anymore because on reference it will be locked permanently. Okay. And of course, if you want to edit, you can always right click. It'll click on the R again to toggle it to nothing and you can select back your plane. Okay, so that's the first thing to before we set up and make sure you get an image plane ready. So when we do modeling, I always start with one of the view, one of the axis. Okay, so for this I'm gonna start with the uh side view because it is as actually easier for me to get the shape out okay um, of course you can use your left view the front view to take a look okay now when we again when we are modeling we have to plan ahead what is the thing how are, how is it going to be used and how are we going to um, later on make use of our model if you are going to model this, obviously we are going to try to animate it or pose it in such a way that it doesn't just look so stiff like this picture. So these portions are all movable. Okay, so the legs, the thighs, uh, the arms, the elbows, and the head probably are movable. Okay, so I'm going to split them out, and because Iron Man is a is a hard object. If you ask me, it is a hard object. I'm going to make this um, separate. So I'm going to I'm going to try to start off with something easy to so that I can model the rest with more confidence. Okay. So I'm going to start with. If you ask me, the body is one of the easiest part that I can start with. So I'm going to start with modeling the body using a side view, and I can look at it from the front view. Uh, to start, what you can do is you can click on the uh, plane. Okay, you can select by polygon plane. Okay, to create a plane first. Okay, and okay, so I'm going to just pull this down and on the poly planes, you can just scroll down and there's a attribute where you can actually select subdivision and height width and height. Okay. So I'm going to increase this. How can you increase this? You can increase it by using the numbers, manually keying in your numbers. Okay, or you can select the word and move your mouse to the plane and you middle mouse 
click and drag left and right and you can see that the, the division actually increase accordingly to uh, how long you want to drag okay same for height might be easier for you just mean the mouse left and right and you can see that it increases okay right so what is the appropriate way to decide on how many segments I need 